Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. If you know it, say it with me. I got my coffee, I got my Bible, of course I have all of you. I will make a confession, I have got my coffee, but I am getting on the infused water hype train. Okay, I don't know if you've heard of this. You take these various different types of fruit and you put them in here, you let it soak a while. Uh, it's pretty good. Now, it is not as good as like Kool-Aid or soda, don't get me wrong, but I mean, it's pretty good. So. Whatever, whatever that's worth. <laughs> Happy National Left Handers Day. So for all of my left-handed people, let us unite in one accord, okay? There are a few perfect people, everybody else is right-handed. <laughs> it is so good to see you and welcome to Ephesians chapter five. Yes, chapter five. And today what I wanna do is I wanna talk about the idea of check yourself before you wreck yourself. And I wanna challenge you a little bit today. I always do these these daily hope videos wanting to give you some some hope for the day to realize that God's word is full of hope and sometimes hope to me is God telling me it's going to be okay you can do it and sometimes hope to me is reminding me that I can always get better I don't want to think I've arrived you know they always say if you're the smartest person in your class you're in the wrong class you always want to be at a place where there's room to grow and sometimes the greatest hope for me is to remember that, man, God's still calling me higher. There's still more I can do. And so some of these videos are intentionally very encouraging, and some of them are a little bit challenging, and that's like the one today. I want to tell you this verse, and then I want to ask you a couple questions. Here it is, Ephesians 5, verse 15 through 17. It says, So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but live like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Have you ever heard the phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Has there ever been a more untrue statement in the history of the world? I mean, think about that. Words will never hurt me. That is so, so untrue. Do you know you can take back words, but you can't take back their impact on your life. That's both negative and positive. You know, someone can say something to you and they can speak life or speak death, depending on who they are. And I want to ask this question. I want to read this verse again. I want to ask you this question. It says, do not live, do not act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Be careful how you live and don't act thoughtlessly. Now, why is he doing that? He's saying that because we, as Christ followers, are God's representative in the world today. You know, you are the only Bible some people will ever read. Uh, one famous theologian said, preach the gospel at all times, and then, if necessary, use words. There's been times that I've had people in, in my life who have asked me, they, come, they said, hey, are you a Christian? And I said, well, yeah, absolutely, I, I am. You know, what, what, you know, I don't know, you just, you just act like it. I'm like, I, I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> and they didn't tell me, so I don't know if they were like, oh, you're one of those or they were like, hey, you're one of those. You, you never know. Okay. <laughs> so I was hoping it was good. But then I've also had people that I've hung around for years and they never asked me. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. But the important thing is to realize that how we live is not just about us. It's about who we represent. And even if you are someone who you don't tell people that you're a Christ follower, it comes out one way or the other through your actions. So I want to ask you this question. If somebody were to find out today that you're a, a Christian and you attend church and you, you try to live the Christ life, would they be surprised? Or would they say, I knew that. What would be the, what would be the deal? I want to ask you this next question. If God's word says, don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do, what is the answer to that question? What the Lord wants you to do? Now, there are some questions we always have. What does the Lord want me to do with my life? Should I take this job or that job? Should I buy this car or not buy this car? You know, who should I vote for? Yeah, all these different questions. But there's a lot of things we don't have to ask. We just know the Lord probably want me to do this, such as, should I steal this? Should I act that way? How about this? Should I post that on social media? Who am I helping? Uh, can, I, can I get really honest and say, how many times have you typed something out and before you press post, you ask the Lord, Lord, is this going to bring glory to your name? Or is this me just venting? And can I tell you, if you're a Christ follower, you shouldn't be venting to the world. Maybe you can vent to a, a close friend or someone, and then you can pray together. But you're living to a higher calling. 
God has a plan for your life. You're making a difference one way or the other in your life. The question is, is what kind of difference are you making? Are you bringing glory to the name of Jesus or are you an embarrassment? Ow, that hurts, doesn't it? But I have to do the same thing. You know, when all this COVID stuff started happening, I was getting so frustrated because people seemed like that they were getting lost in the weeds and they they were they were majoring on minors and minoring on majors and and we were we were fighting against one another about should I wear a mask or should I not wear a mask should I send my kids to school or should I not should I go to work should I not and we were fighting and I wasn't necessarily angry that we were having the conversations because I think we should have conversations but even watching Christ followers just get angry at each other and it was embarrassing to me because There's people who are following us on social media who are not Christ followers, and why in the world should they follow us if we're just as confused as they are and we have no hope? And I would want to post so many things, but I learned so quickly not to do it. So i tell you what I did is before I would post anything on social media, I would send it to a friend of mine and let them read it. And then even after they approved, I would then pray and go, God, is this going to bring glory to your name or is this going to cause division? Is this about you or it's about me? I had to learn how to check myself before I wrecked myself. Because it's not just about me, it's about Jesus. And I wanna encourage you by challenging you and saying you have something to live up for. You are not just some random person taking up space. There's a purpose for your life. God is for you and not against you. And with that comes a certain responsibility. And so why don't we rise up? Instead of lowering ourselves down to the standards of others, instead of deciding that we're gonna go down to the level of other people and argue and fight and complain and all these things. What if we raised the level of where we are and said, you know what? I don't have all the answers, but I know that Jesus does. And all my complaining hasn't solved one thing, but prayer changes everything. That brings me hope because it reminds me I can always get better and that God is always for me. Why don't you try it today and see what God may use you to make a difference in the lives of others. It's a little challenging, but I don't, I, I don't know, but every once in a while we need to hear that. And I don't know how it's going to speak to you. I'll tell you what I do know, that God loves you more than you understand. He is for you more than you can imagine. You're probably doing better than you realize. You know why? Because you got up one more day. God has not changed his mind about you. And I want you to know something. Nobody else has told you yet today. I love you so much. God's with you. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this together. And I cannot wait to see you here next time on Daily. 